What's up, guys? It's not the winner, and I know it's been a while since I've checked out Swords and Sandals, but with their official launch, I wanted to maybe go back and take a look at a few of my characters. Now, there was a point in the game where pure builds were everything, and that's what my very first character was, a pure. Now, there was another point in the game where they started to make mixed builds extremely powerful. Now, I believe Karen's more of a tank. The Indomitable Mage, I believe, was supposed to be a tanky mage. Totally just gave up on that one. Uh, Bard tank is actually very, very useful. The Rogue Fighter was actually kind of strong. The Bard or Mage was also a very cool one. Um, the Bard or Mage might not be as effective now, or it might be just as effective, because Charisma increases your chance to hit with uh, Sonic attacks and your Sonic damage. Mage increases, or Intellect increases your chance with Magic attacks, uh, whereas before it was split between the two. So he has the perfect split build. We're going to go into our oldest character. And just kind of see. Now I probably have some level ups. I probably have some other stuff going on. But let's just kind of see what build I have. And see what we can do here. Okay. Pretty much. Almost entirely. Charisma. Okay. 110 to 300. Still a lot of time left. 493% to level 41. So I got like four levels to go up. Hmm. Weird. Apparently I also have the bow. I don't think these were in the game. Learn. Oh, do I already have that? Oh, okay. That's part of my species and class talents. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we just got to trust it, right? Yeah, I guess we just trust it. This is, it's daytime still, so I should be able to find a fight. Another survival series. Three straight fights may not heal or leave the arena between fights. Um, I, not yet. Dang it. Is that how, oh, is this just how overworld fighting is now? Okay. Wait. Wait. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. I don't remember you having to go into the skill menu to do stuff. That's weird. Maybe you always have. It really has been quite some time since I last played this. It seems like a lot of sonic damage. Alright, let's just go for the basic. Apparently two achievements there. Okay, okay. Totally forgot that's how that works. Um, I feel like they should have dealt some damage to his health as well. Is that not how that works anymore?
I did 429, but he's still at 103. Achievement tough opponent. Five levels higher than me. But he's five levels lower than me. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so we get evil points and good points now. Um, I don't see a point in slaying every fighter. Give them a chance to get stronger to fight you again. They're too low level for me to gain XP? I... Now hang on. Okay, so I guess achievements were added into the game, and now like that's like a big thing now. Uh... Might want to get some more stamina. Maybe more health. I don't know, guys. It's, it's kind of tough what I want to get here. Looks like I don't have a choice. I have to distribute my points right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Get some more crit hit resist. I don't know what any of that means. Looks like I got five points to add though. So let's kind of take a look at this. You said I had five points. I guess I only had one. Okay. This guy's got, like, no HP. So that was a nice stun. Now we broke his armor. <clears throat> Easy finish there. Oh, so I was 5,000%, but you automatically go back to 0%. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, so it just breaks armor now. It doesn't touch HP with it. That's painful. Like, legit painful. Scare did work. Okay. And, let's see. Scare and stun. Boom. Big finish. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll take that. The build still feels very, very powerful for being the very first character I ever made. I'm not going to complain about the build. Um, <clears throat> so I gained two stars overnight. I'm not 100% what all that means. So at the bottom it shows the new item. And that makes sense. Oh, 
Oh. We do have a chunk of money. Let's go ahead and buy that. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, I feel like gear nowadays is going to be way stronger than anything that I have. Okay, so it shows mine at the top. So I guess what I bought was garbage. That makes more sense. Now, if this is my current armor, 151, and is Dungeoneering and Strength making enough of a distant difference for it to be worth it? Or should I get the 300 extra armor? Probably the extra armor. Nothing about that seems worse. It's the stat points that I'm worried about losing. That's okay. We'll skip the legendary helmet. Although it seemed good with the bow mastery. What was the other thing it had? Beast of Burden. Yeah, so that's worse than what I had on. Go back to that one for a moment. That's right, helmets were really powerful for a bit. Definitely like the amplifying crit mastery there. Um, yeah, and then guitar god. Increased chance to stun because that'll be up to seven. What's the other one? Not there. It was Beast of Burden, right? Okay. Yeah, we buy that. Armorer! <laughs> Come back. Yeah, because overall, it's more armor. Yes, we're losing 3 defense and 4 vitality, but I feel like those buffs are just worth it. We sell at the tavern again. Steeds. I feel like I have a pretty good steed. I just don't see it. <laughs> I definitely have one. Maybe not on this character. Maybe I have it on my other characters. Huh. Well, let's get that armor piece equipped and continue the journey. Oh, it's already equipped. Nice. Now. I don't have 26. Oh, wait. These are stars. Okay. I want to see if the Doom Trick's been adjusted or how difficult Grand Champion 8 is. Because I remember him being tough. And for a non tanky character like this, I don't know if he can handle it. I think it will have to do with how many stuns I end up getting. That wasn't the enemy, I remember. Now, hang on, look at these power score differences. That's, uh... Quite the split. Ow. Yeah, this probably won't go too well, folks. The goal is just to get stuns every single turn. And it's not working too well. 
All right, so he's scared now. He has to back up as he moves. That's fine. You just move me further away. There's no way I'm going to have enough um, points to pull this one off. I feel like we have to go for an Intimidate here. You know, like, I want to keep my distance from him, and he ignored the other attack, damn. Hello, sir. Come on. Nice big stun. Nice knockback. Hurt a lot, but nice knockback. <laughs> okay. It's looking possible. <clears throat> Those ignores are hurting. Okay, every attack's a crit now. Big stun. Big stun. Okay, good job scaring me. Thank you. Ooh, we needed a stun there. See, he's tired, though. He's tired. He's struggling. Big stun. Oof. I need to do a rest. There's no further back that I can, like, back up. So I'm kind of stuck in this corner now. Until he moves in, I think. Oh, ow. Okay, now he can one-shot me, so I basically need to finish him. This needs to be combo into combo into combo into finisher. Yeah, GG. Good show. Good show. So we wasted a day on that, but it was a fair test. It let me see kind of how this character can do, whether he's kind of going to be okay and worth it. <clears throat> and I believe that reset all the shops again. Holy armor value. This is probably better than what I currently have, but hey. So more armor, more stats, and bonus holy armor value. Sure, we'll take that. Now that's a different weapon. So 28 damage instead of 15. 16 bonus frost instead of 8. And 32% frost effect instead of 16. It's basically double the level, but also double the quality. 
I'm definitely going to buy it. And uh, I think that's going to help me out quite a bit. Now, in the overworld, you know, check the Enchantress first, because there's a certain point where Alchemize, Enchant, and all that didn't exist. Whereas nowadays, I'm quite confident <laughs> that they do exist. Oh, that's right, there's potions. I probably could have drunk a potion, go back like to full armor or something. I don't, I don't know. Could have won the Doom Trek, probably, is all I'm saying. Hmm, gotcha. Well, I don't need any of that. Let's go to the overworld. What's that? 13 hours to travel to that map. 1.2 hours to travel to this child. Or 1.2 days. Hey, we actually have zones down here now. Hell yeah. I'm pretty sure bog stench you couldn't get over to... There's a lot that you couldn't reach in this game. Looks like we have some high level dungeons, level 70 and 80. Come on, let me back up. That's cool, man. It's not like crazily filled out. I expected a little bit more to be, I guess, added. Because it seemed like there's like another 20 cities to find. But maybe once I walk over here, they'll start popping up. Yeah, that's got to be it. There's no way he took all those out. Alright, so it would take three days to get there? Jeez, I don't know if I want to do that. Hang on. If I could just spend three days going to this one instead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because these are higher level enemies and everything. But. Uh, that's just not even fair. Nice. Plus two intelligence. Uh, so that was a waste of three days. But let's head up here now. <clears throat> oh, chasms. No fun. Seems like we can do an adventure in every single town now instead of just whenever we run into them. kind of creature a polyp minus one vitality awesome all right <laughs> that didn't go well we wasted nine days across that whole ordeal. Let's see if we should waste any more money or if we did pretty good on that last one. Yes, yeah, so this one's only level five, as you can see, compared to level 40. It does have two skills that could be useful, but very low damage in comparison to what I was using. Okay. What can we forge? I 
Ah. Okay. Do I actually get to pick my battles this time? Cool. Nice. Let's go ahead and fight a cleric first. That was kind of a weak hit from him. So I feel like if I opened with power cord or threw power cord anywhere in between the rotation or went like meaty burp, power cord, taunt. You know, like I, I don't know. Maybe taunt, meaty burp, or no. We'll, we'll figure out a good order for it, but I feel like I'm wasting opportunities currently. The freeze was helpful there. With power cord having such a short cooldown, might as well. Nice. Solid XP. That's where the concern lies when you're doing that stuff. So should be able to get enough XP to level up from this one, but kind of want to take on this one to be safe. Because it looks like it's going to be late in the day. So, if I don't get it in this fight, I might not get it. Okay, starting with the power cord felt better, because then we can roll into taunt, and then directly back into a power cord if need be. Right? <clears throat> Which rolls into the mighty burp for the kill. Easy. Another level. Let's do it again. So either that or we got a touch on the essence. Ah, it's telling me how many points I've assigned in that one talent tree. Super weird to choose to do that. Alright. I guess let's get my three more battles so I can get on to the champion. Seems to be I'm having no problem with any normal enemy. Yeah, I definitely prefer Power Cord into Taunt. It just feels so much better. Because then you can go Power Cord into Burp. And then Power Cord's up again. Right before you do taunt again. Yeah, definitely start power cord. <clears throat> More mana could be very useful as well. Just in case a fight goes on longer. I know I have that full recovery, but I want something on top of that, you know. Really make sure you're going to get it. Okay, they got necrotic to start. Good, we got a stun. They ignored the power cord. Let's hit him with the burp. 
another power cord. Okay, they're totally broken on all armors. And we get a taunt to close it up. So, as much as leveling up is cool, we'd rather get this, because we're going to level up at end of day no matter what, right? So we might as well get our extra fights in. Whoops. I guess that works, folks. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what that orb's doing for you. So he's out of essence, he's totally stunned, he's out of armor, and the next hit should kill. I feel bad for him though, that was that was rough. That was definitely a rough one for you, buddy. So he ignored that, which means that he dies here. <laughs> oh, so powerful. I love the power cord setup. I wish I hadn't wasted those nine days, not gonna lie. That was that was just totally rough in my opinion. All right, let's fight the champion. He's going to be a monster, isn't he? He's got more melee damage. I have a much better fight record. Uh, uh, he's got a crazy amount of strength. Jeez. That's his thing, strength. All right. He was worried that I got to go first. Okay, so his helmet's already gone. I resisted his attack. He ignored that. That's gonna hurt. It didn't even show me how much damage. Good resist. Good resist. We don't need to be stunned out of our abilities, you know. Ooh! I see. I should probably jump over him to make sure he doesn't knock me in here. Oh, that's it. We needed that. Good resist. Alright, so we need a stun here, otherwise it's pretty much GG. Not on me, I meant on him. So when you're electrified, you can't really use your skills. You're forced to use whatever basics that you would have here. Um, just not looking great. Oh, the electrified leaves after one turn now. Oh. Oh. That's way better. So it used to be multiple turns and used to be completely brutal. So he could just kick me in now. Now that I'm stressed, I'm going to have some trouble. Yeah. So had he not gotten so many blocks, I think I would have been a bit better off. But hey, unlucky finish there. You got to take this from time to time. Oh. <sighs> And we don't get our level up because of that. That's rough. But hey. That has been the pure charisma build. As you can see, the HP not being there hurts quite a bit. The other stats just like, it, it's a tough build. Let's just put it that way. Um, we're going to go back to the title. And I just want to take a quick, quick, quick glance at the... Oh, it crashed. Alrighty then. <laughs> I guess we won't be taking a quick glance at what I was going to check. But uh, I will say, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Be sure to check out some of my other content. I've got tons of content on YouTube, especially for swords and sandals, all sorts of old build guides. And if you guys enjoyed this, I'll see you all in the next one.